Yo, what's up? So, I'm in a different hotel now, whatever. Um, just chilling and shit. I don't post road. <laughs> Back in the hood, nigga. I ain't tripping, though. I love the hood. So, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, bro. Oh, yeah, that water shit. I don't, I don't fucking know, nigga. I, was just, I just saw that in the camera, so I just thought I would address it. But anyway. Yeah, um. Um, man, I say this shit all the time, so I'm not gonna say that shit. I was gonna be like, oh, it's my last video by Kayla. Nigga, whatever, alright? But I'm gonna say this straight, uh, shit straight up. She she told me to stop texting or whatever, so I'm gonna, um, you know, I'm gonna be like, yeah, follow that shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I thought about our whole motherfucking relationship for a minute, alright? Like, I can't really explain what kind of guy I am. In a, when I'm in a relationship, but I mean, I'm like I'm like some fantasy shit, you know. I'm not. It's like I'm not real, you know. Everything like you would see on some like romantic movie shit, you know, or something out of fucking fairy tale. That's how I am, you know. I be treating these females like they're my wife, whatever. My mom said I should stop doing it. Obviously, she was saying you shouldn't be tri uh, <laughs> in her own words, like you shouldn't t uh, treat temporary bitches, you know, like they're permanent. But. um yeah, so she got a point though. But yeah, the shit with Kayla, I'm gonna just say this straight up. This not even going. This is not gonna be a long video at all. I'm gonna say this like as completely clear as I can. She is a by the book female. All right. What I mean by that is, um, uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna put me last. Like this, I'm gonna do this though. All right. So she lost her virginity to this nigga, right? You know, back when we broke up in 2015. Some nigga named AJ. She she lost her virginity to that nigga, and because she lost her virginity to him, and she's like a she was like a typical virgin, you know. They say like virgins be following motherfuckers around and shit, cause they feel like they love him after that shit, you know. That's how it was. She felt like she should be in a relationship with that nigga, settle down, have kids with him, and marry that nigga just because she lost her virginity to him. She got, she you know, found this other nigga, whatever, some bitch ass nigga that beats the fuck out of her all the time, and um, you know she had a baby with this nigga, and because. You know, that's the father of her firstborn child. She feels like they should get married. Like literally, she's a by the book person. That's what I'm saying. Uh, she only the only reason she like claimed that she loved me, you know, is because I was the first nigga to really treat her right. That's it. So technically, what I'm saying is like she don't really love these niggas. All right, she just loves the idea of them. You know, she has an idea in her head, and that's what she, you know feels like should be right and she tries to force it because you know like i told you she says she don't make uh, she doesn't make mistakes she tell me that shit so she tries to force that shit she's probably gonna end up marrying that nigga you know and probably taking ass whoopers like every fucking day but and it is sad i'm not gonna lie to you it is fucking sad but also it's typical it's typical for men and women to beat the fuck up each other and kill each other that's typical even in the suburbs you know and if you want to go through that shit go ahead i'm i'm done trying to save motherfuckers honestly uh, I'm, i've been in my feelings and shit for 10 years over here I mean, I've been in my feelings, like, still, like, you know, after she really disrespected me and shit. Now, y'all don't even understand, bro. She said a lot of fucked up things to, to me. Whether, uh, like, when I was in person and on the phone and shit and texting me, she said a lot of fucked up shit. I'm not even going to get into that shit because this is no need to, you know? But I'm just saying, like, um, hey, you know, she, um, she claims that she no matter what and i do understand this because we're so amazed me and her so like we have the same points of views but hers is a little more jaded you know um she believes just like me that uh she wants sorry i put my <laughs> i did like this because i thought my glasses were on my face but anyway um she believes that her kid deserves a two-parent household right because it's typical for black people to be toxic to each other and I give a fuck about the motherfucking kid or, you know, you know, each other, the girlfriend and boyfriend. They don't care about each other. And she don't want to be in that statistic. But, like, um, what was it? I'm trying to think. But the thing about that is, like, you cannot force that shit. Her baby daddy doesn't love her, like, at all. She, but she's going to try to force him to love her. Like, literally. You know, she's pushing the boundary just so that, just so her daughter sees the uh, some kind of false picture of happiness and love instead of telling her the truth she's just gonna be another parent that lies to her kids so like that's i mean that's where the fuck we at right now you know 
And when I say that shit, she flips the fuck out. She flips out because she know that shit true. She be sending my videos are one-sided. But they're really not. You know, sometimes they are. And it's because, like, obviously she can't tell her side of it. But her side of it is fucked up, like, literally. It's not going to be no logic coming from her mouth. Like, it's just, like, disrespect, you know. But I'm heavy into psychology. And this ain't nothing new. Like, I've always been really good at reading people in situations. Now, you know, the things that I go through personally with women, that's me. That's me not looking at the red flags, you know. That's me saying, oh, I love her. This is not going to change her. You live and you learn, though, you know. But I'm just saying, because that's what, that's what I tried to do with Brenda. And I also tried to do that recently with Kayla, you know, but it's not going to work, you know. No matter what, she's going to love this nigga, you know, because only because she had a baby with him. That's literally it. There are some people out here, men and women, they're mentally fucking gone to where, like, they believe that uh, because you are, are, like, the parent of their fucking child, you know, that you should be around forever. And I'm not saying, like, you know, leave your kids. I'm saying, like, they feel like you should be with them forever. My mom told me to watch out for people like that. They're fucking crazy and they'll kill your ass, like, for real, you know. They feel like you should be around forever. Like, for real. And um, that's how Brenda and her baby daddy are. Like, they can't stay away from each other because they're both fucking crazy. And they feel like they both should be around no matter what and control each other. Sometimes love equals control, you know. It shouldn't be like that, but that's how it goes. But anyway, I'm not for any of that shit. Like, I don't believe in controlling somebody. Like, I'm just not that kind of person. Like, literally, I'm not like that. I just don't give a fuck. Um, you know, it's just me. I've had women cheat on me, and I never once went through their phones. Like, because it's not the fact that I was like, oh, I'm, I'm that nigga, bro. They can't cheat on me. No, it was, like, the fact that I trusted them, like, completely. You know, I put my trust in you. Like, no bullshit. So I just expected them not to cheat on me. But, hey, that's how it goes. You can't force somebody to give a fuck about you, you know. But you can leave them, you know. But uh, I'm just saying, like, yeah. So... We're done, like completely, like no bullshit. Um, she told me to stop texting her, so I will. Uh, it's good though, you know. I'm not worried about. It. I could, I could definitely say a lot of fucked up shit about her right now, but I'm not gonna do that. That'd be some petty ass shit, so I'm not gonna do that. But uh, yeah, she disrespected the fuck out of me, y'all. Like for real. Um, man, it was, it was fucked up. But yeah, uh, what, what's the time on here? Seven? Okay. So I ain't got my glasses on, so I can't even see the time up top, even though it's like right in my face. I'm blind as fuck. Um, yeah, it's cool though. You know, we we good. Uh, I'm uh, like I said, I start my job uh, Tuesday, next week, whatever. After my first check, I'm gonna get back to this track shit. I've been saying that shit, but the days are going slow. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be at the sports facility next to IU downtown <clears throat> called Nips. Like I keep saying, uh, I'll probably be up there on my off days in the morning. And I'll be like like in after work. I'll probably be there like at night. But I'm just saying that in case y'all wanted to, like, you know, in case you live in a nap, whatever, you want to, like, be up there and shit and talk to me. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, I don't give a fuck about her. Um, like, I try not to be disrespecting females and shit like that, but honestly, and, like, for real, I, when I say this, I'm sorry, but fuck that bitch. Like, fuck you, bro, because she, I literally was homeless on the streets for her, like, for real. You know, and I I loved her, bro. I, you know, but she literally stomped the moment with a heart, like, you know. On purpose, like it's not like you know, there wasn't no remorse to it. She don't give a fuck like at all. She's a very evil and selfish person now, you know. So honestly, I feel like her baby daddy should beat her ass. You know, I'm, I'm cool with it. You know, honestly, if I was to witness it, he punched her in the mouth and shit, I'd probably start clapping. I'd be like, you know what? Good job, bro. But anyway, um, yeah. So I'm done with it. Uh, what time is it, bro? It's 11:32. I'm finna chill. Honestly, if I had a car, bro, I'd probably be downtown right now. Cause you know it's Saturday. It's lit as fuck downtown right now clubs and shit niggas is out there drinking and shit while and it's it's feel it feel good as fuck outside too but anyway um all right y'all